Hey guys, CL Cannon here from Fiction Atlas Press, bringing you another monthly marketing tip. So today I'm going to be talking about newsletter swaps. And I know I've talked about newsletter swaps before, um, but today I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I get a lot of questions about. I get a lot of questions about um, where to find swaps and how to do them successfully. So uh, for those who don't know, a newsletter swap is when you and another author agree to share each other's books in each other's newsletters. Um, so you're essentially sharing your books and your audiences. This usually consists of a book cover, uh, the link to the book, and a description. Or at least it should. Um, I know I've seen some people who just kind of throw the book cover there somewhere at the bottom of their newsletter, but you don't want to be one of those people. Now that everyone knows what a swap is, um, where do you find authors to swap with? Well, um, there's a few different ways to do this, and I'm going to outline three of the ways that I do. The first thing that you can do is you can sign up for a service like Story Origin or Book Funnel. These are kind of like directories where authors can post their newsletter swaps, and you can post your own newsletter swaps, and you can kind of collaborate together. It'll tell you who has available spots in their newsletter, and you can filter these by genre tags. Um, you can get better results that way. You can also look at an author's swap history on both Book Funnel and Story Origin, and this will tell you how many times they've successfully swapped, and it will tell you the click data, so how many times people have actually clicked on the things that they have included in their newsletter. And that'll help you determine if this particular author is a good fit for you and for your book, um, if it's going to be a good swap with a good outcome. And once you've agreed to a swap, uh, you can make sure that you include all the relevant info in your newsletter. Um, you can send it out on the day that you agreed to send it out with the author on and uh, your stats and stuff will show up when you upload your campaign link um, so they can tell you know if you're going to be a good person to swap with in the future. Another way that's really good and especially if you're looking for a free way to do swaps is to go into um, newsletter and cross promo specific Facebook groups or groups on other social media platforms um, that are specifically about, you know, doing newsletter swaps and arranging different kinds of marketing and promotion things between authors. That's what they're specifically there for. So once you join these groups, uh, you need to be sure to check out the group rules and to make sure that there's not like a template that you're supposed to to post with every time you post. Some groups have that and some, some do not, but it's good to always look at the rules of any Facebook group that you join to make sure that you're following them. Um, so once you're ready to make a post, um, what you're going to do is you're going to include the title, the link, uh, your cover, your genre, uh, your list size, and the dates that you can share. Uh, you can also list how many spots you have open so people know, you know, how, the demand that you have. Um, what specific genres that you're looking for. If you're only looking for a certain genre to swap with, that's something they need to know up front. Um, you can also specify what list sizes you're interested in swapping with. If you have, like, if you don't want to swap with anybody who doesn't have a certain number, you can do that. Um, you then chat with the authors that comment on your stuff and uh, on your listing. And, you know, you kind of just do it via your comment section, or you can private message people if they, you know, replied on there and they say, hey, I want to arrange a swap. You just go into your messages and message back and forth and you guys work out when you're going to swap with each other. Um, and that's your line of communication. Uh, sometimes you'll also be working with authors PAs because a lot of PAs set up newsletter swaps. Um, so, you know, that can be a little bit of back and forth to figure out when you're going to be swapping and everything gets approved and you're good to go. Some authors choose to use a Google form. They set up a Google form that has all their information in it and you just fill it out. Um, if you choose to go for this method, you may need to make sure that you are following up with everybody who uh, fills out this form so they know was my swap accepted or was it not because I've, I've done these a couple times and like I don't know if I'm swapping with this person because they never get in contact with you until like the day of the swap. So try to be prompt about you know if you see you got a notification try to let that person know whether they have been accepted to the swap or not. Um, then you, you know, you want to kind of reiterate, you know, what was in the Google form. Say, you know, this is a date that we've agreed to swap. Here's the information that you need and make sure that you both know what's going on. Um, 
So that's another option is to use that Google form to make it a little bit easier on yourself and you need just have to follow up. The last method that I'm going to talk about uh, is probably the most labor intensive method, but I do think that it yields good results. Um, this involves looking up your comparable authors. So this is like um, people that write books that are in the same genre as you usually and have some of the same tropes and that you could say to someone, hey, if you like this, then you might like this, kind of like I do on the Indie Connection. So the first things you want to look at is do they have some of the same elements as the book that you're wanting to promote? Um, and are they successful? Because you don't want to, it's not that you don't want to swap with authors who are not successful, but swapping with authors that are doing well is going to help your book do better because you're going to get into their also box. Um, so that's kind of a good push right there. I wouldn't suggest, you know, being like, hey, George R. R. Martin, uh, will you uh, swap, do a newsletter swap with me? That's probably not going to happen. You want to stay away from authors that are probably published by the big five, especially if they're some of the larger authors like Martin. Successful indies are a whole nother story. You want to be able to get in there with successful indies and network, um, make industry connections with them. And it's going to be really valuable to be on there with someone who is doing well and that is an indie. They, you have sort of the same audiences. You have people on their lists already that are reading indie books. And that's a major plus because some people only read traditional books because they don't really know about indie books or they've heard bad things about indie books. So you're already getting people who are used to reading indie books and who will pay attention. So once you have your wish list of authors that you want to do swaps with, then you need to find out the best way to contact them. And it's very important that you figure out the way that they prefer to be contacted. We're not trying to spam and cold email people. We're trying to find people that we have things in common with and that we can collaborate with and network with. So don't just be chasing them down on Facebook if that's not their preferred method. Don't be tagging them uh, on their Facebook page, like in the public eye being like, hey, I love your books. They're kind of like my book. Here's my book. Uh, do you want to maybe swap? No, you want to make this a graphic conversation. And usually an email is a good way to go. But again, look up what their preferred method of contact is. Then there's some things that you want to do. You want to introduce yourself. Tell them who you are. You want to let them know why a swap with you would be beneficial for both them and you. And of course, you want to tell them, like, here's my book. This is These are the dates that I have open. Uh, would it be good for you to swap on any of these dates? So try to keep it really personable and professional, but also friendly enough that you can create some sort of connection with them. The worst thing they can do is say no. I would say at least one of them is probably going to swap with you. And if not, they might have, you might have actually created a connection with you where they will swap with you in the future. They'll remember you and remember that you took time out to make a genuine connection. If you don't get all 10 people on your list or all 15 people on your list, you'll probably get at least one to two and maybe more if you're lucky. These turn out to be really, really valuable swaps compared to just arranging regular swaps on other sites. Sometimes just getting so specific and making sure you're with a successful author can really boost your sales and make it a really good swap for you. Another question that I get asked is, what if I don't have a very big list? Uh, there are definitely authors out there who will only swap with people that have a list of a certain size. Um, but there are also authors out there who are happy to, you know, go with a smaller list. Someone who has a smaller list and they don't care. Personally, uh, I remember what it was like being at like 100 subscribers and nobody wanting to swap with me. And now that I have over 16,000 subscribers, if a little person that has a small list wants to swap with me, I'm like, hey, yeah, let's go. Um, I'm very open to swapping with people who have smaller lists because, hey, I've been there, I've done that, and I remember how hard it is. And just like me, there are plenty of authors out there who have also been through the same and they're happy to swap with smaller list sites. Um, one thing that you can offer if you want to, to kind of be like a, extend an olive branch, if you will, um, if you have a smaller list size, say, hey, I can also share your book on social media. And that's another way that you're, you know, expanding reach that you have. If you don't have as much reach in your newsletter, you might have more on social media. You're getting more eyeballs on the other author's book. So it's just a kind thing to do to kind of make up for that lack in numbers. Um, you don't have to do it, but it's just a nice thing to do. And an idea to help you, you know, persuade someone with 
a larger list to swap with you. I hope this has helped you guys learn more about newsletter swaps and how to find them and how to make them effective. As always, if you guys have any questions for me, you can reach me via email at info at fiction-atlas.com or you can reach out to me on social media. I'm always happy to help. I hope you guys have a great month and I'll see you next time. Bye.